everyone, so it's now been a week since I've had my plants outside and now they're ready for repotting. They've acclimatized to the Melbourne weather and I'm ready to pop it into a different pot. But let's go over a few of the basic things. What size pot should you use? Easily, you want to use about three to four times larger than the pot that it's currently in and you want to follow that through even after it's established in this pot. The reason being is because it's got really immature root systems. So when you pop it in, if it's too big of a pot, the rain and the water that you put on it, it's only going to bypass the roots and it won't be able to be absorbed into the plant, obviously killing the plant. So what I always say is once it's a tube stock, go straight into a 140 millimeter, also known as a six inch pot as well. So what we're going to be doing now is actually taking it out of the tube stock. One thing to keep in mind, and especially for larger plants like finger limes, is not to disturb the roots. The reason being is for most plants, they have very fine little hairs along the roots that actually start to excrete sugars, which feed microorganisms in the soil in exchange for different nutrients and minerals. If they get exposed to air and to sunlight, these hairs die, essentially killing off the plant. So we don't want to be doing that. To actually get it out of the pot, you want to have two fingers over the base of the plant, easily flip it over and just gently squeeze the corners. So as you can see, that should just make it slide out. I'm not pulling at all on the plant. And this is what you've got, a gorgeous plant. Right, so I'm just gonna gently place this little guy down here. This is the native thyme, by the way. What we wanna do is we wanna obviously put some soil inside. And one question that we always get is, what's the best soil? So for us, the soil that we use is Osmocote Premium Polling Mix. We're not sponsored at all by them. We just think it's a fantastic soil and there's no fillers or fertilizers or anything like that that's gonna damage your plant. You just wanna take your soil and you just wanna pop it straight in. Only just cover enough of the base. I would never recommend that you put rocks or anything like that at the bottom. What you'll end up finding is it's just going to cause more problems to the plant than it's worth. So just filling up just to the bottom, just so once we've actually picked up this plant and we drop it gently inside, there's going to be about probably the size of the tip of my finger in depth before it hits the soil. So that's perfect. This is exactly the amount we need. Then you just easily follow up by putting it all in. Awesome, so now I've potted it all up and there's still a gap about the length of the tip of my finger. So when I do water it, the water's gonna get held inside of the pot. So remember, I've used the Osmocote potting mix right now. What you wanna do is when you're pressing it down, you don't wanna press down too harshly. What will end up happening is you'll start to strangle a lot of the microorganisms because they won't be able to access any oxygen. Some oxygen in the soil is important, so you wanna press it down firmly, but not too much where you're crushing everything inside. Another question that we get is what plant food should you use? What sort of fertilizer and things like that? If you've got something like a finger lime for example which is actually a citrus you want to actually be feeding it with citrus fertilizer we recommend the highest quality organic type go to your local nursery and ask them for a recommendation but when it comes to the natives like the native thyme or the myrtle for example what you want to do is make sure that you give them a local native fertilizer for this one we'd always recommend the native plant food we have that as well on our website that gives it all of the nutrients that you need in it there's no fillers and there's no chemicals inside this is ready now to go outside I'm going to give it a really, really nice drink of water and then I'm just going to leave it and watch it grow.